Well, fine. Good evening, everyone. This is Patricia, and I am traveling for history. I'm in Burlington, Vermont today. I'm going to talk about this beautiful brick building right in front of us. It is a busy corner, so hopefully, hopefully, uh, we'll get through this. This is the Stannard House, capital S-T-A-N-N-A-R-D. The Stannard House is an historic house at 3 George Street in Burlington, Vermont. Built about 1850, it is a good local example of Greek Revival architecture executed in brick. It was listed on the National Register of Historic Places in 2019, so pretty recent. The building is now in mixed commercial residential use. The Standard House is located on the north side of downtown Burlington, at the northwest corner of George and Pearl Streets. This street right here is George. This street over here that's quite busy is Pearl. It is a two and a half story brick building with a gabled roof. Its main facade is four bays wide with the bays asymmetrically placed around a centered entrance. The entrance is set in a recess with a columned entablature and full length side light windows. A two story brick wing, also four bays in length, extends along George Street recessed from the main block facade. And talking about this section right here. This is the entab entablature right there. Let me do a close-up for you so you can see what I mean. Gorgeous, isn't it? That really strong lintel at the top. And then uh, the recessed door is right there. The columns are right there. And those are side lights, those windows on the side. They're, they get their name from being on the, each side of the door and they let in sunlight. An 1850s trick for a uh, Greek Revival style trick for um, for more light in the house. The house was built in 1849-50 by Dr. Ashbel Pitkin, who lived here and also operated his medical practice here. It remained in use as a medical practice until about 1860, after which it became an owner-occupied boarding house. The house is briefly home to American Civil War General George Stannard between 1871 and 1873 and became known as the Stannard House as a result. Stannard made no significant alterations to the house and was forced to sell it as a result of accounting problems related to his government service. It was converted into apartments in the 1950s. The building is one of the few in the immediate area to survive a major urban renewal project in the 2000s. And I'll include links to a variety of videos I've already done on urban renewal and uh, uh, to general standard. I can't do a walk around uh, that much, but uh, I can show you a little bit more of the house over here. As we can see that recessed centerpiece and then right here, this house right here. It does have a beautiful slate roof, looks to be in good condition. And we can see what they mean by asymmetrical. Uh, only uh, two windows on this side, but uh, excuse me, uh, one above each other, so only one course of windows on this side and two courses on this side. A little bit unusual, but uh, apparently that's what they had room for. All right, so I'm gonna cross the street and we're gonna go look at the Pearl Street side of the building over here. So hang on, I'm gonna pause the video and uh, start again when I'm over there. All righty. You have saying that George Street is one way on the Pearl. So we can see the gabled end where the uh, roof edge meets the, the, the street. So typically for a Greek Revival style building, that's the way it is. The, uh, the pediment portion faces the street, so it faces Pearl Street. Look at that beautiful, that beautiful uh, fan light right there. Isn't that gorgeous? You can see the windows and uh, this entrance as well. Now the entrance on George Street would have been the entrance to the building itself. Just beautiful. Let me see about crossing Pearl Street to show you what this looks like better. Hang on. And here we are again, looking at what would have been a side entrance, very likely. You can see the beautiful pediment here, 
and this piece that goes right straight across. Sometimes we just see the ends, uh, but here we have it right straight across. That beautiful fan light again. And let me uh, let me pan in for you. Isn't that amazing? Wow! The age for the builders. This is the standard house in Burlington, Vermont. I'm Patricia, and I'm traveling for history. If you like my content, please subscribe to my channel. We'd really appreciate that. And then uh, once you do subscribe, you click on the notifications bell, you'll be notified each and every time I upload a brand spanking shiny new video just for you.